so welcome back now we are doing next question that is question number 11.2 that white fumes appear around the bottle of anhydrous aluminium chloride so give a reason you know anhydrous aluminium chloride it is partially hydrolyzed by atmospheric moisture when it is partially hydrolyzed by the atmospheric moisture then we will get hcl gas see aloh thrice along with hcl gas okay so this moist hcl formed it appears in white color okay so that's why these white fumes appear around the bottle of anhydrous alcl3 why because aluminum chloride is partially hydrolyzed it is partially hydrolyzed by atmospheric moisture okay and it liberate hcl gas and this hcl gas in moist state appears in white color done this is question number 11.2 so let us do next question next question is boron is unable to form bf63 negative ion explain how do you explain you know boron has you know it belongs to second period it has 2s and 2p orbital you know 2d does not exist it does not exist okay and you know 2s is there is one orbital and in 2p there are three orbitals total four orbitals there are only maximum of four orbitals so due to the absence of d orbital in boron family means uh, no, not boron family but in second period elements all the second period elements including boron there is absence of d orbital so due to the absence of d orbital boron ha has maximum of it can accommodate maximum of eight electrons boron can accommodate maximum of eight electrons or four pairs of electrons okay that means it can form maximum of four bonds boron can form maximum of four bonds or we can say maximum covalency of boron is 4 right that's why bf3 can form bf4 negative because maximum covalency of boron can be 4 only but in it cannot form bf6 3 negative because boron cannot form 6 bonds okay covalency of boron can never be 6 that's why it cannot form bf6 3 negative means you can write that maximum covalency of boron is 4 only due to the absence of d orbital that's it this is the proper reason okay question number four why is boric acid considered as a weak acid though it is a it is an acid okay so boron boric acid is h3bo3 or we can write boh thrice actually it does not release h plus ion on its own it does not release so reason is it does not give H plus ion on its own. Okay. Rather, it accept OH negative ion from water. Being electron deficient, it can accept 
OH negative ion from water to form BOH4 negative, okay, to complete its octet and in turn it releases H plus ion, okay. That's why you can write it as H OH. So, this whole OH is transferred to boron and which in turn releases H plus ion. That's why it is a weak acid. So, what is the reason? Actually, boric acid, though it is an acid, but it does not give H plus ion on its own. Rather, it accepts OH negative ion from water and which in turn release H plus ion. So, actually H3BO3, H3BO3 or we can say BOH thrice is a Lewis acid. Okay, because it accept OH negative ion. Then, so why it is a weak acid? Because it will not give H plus ion. It's on its own, but it accept OH negative ion from water, and then it will give H plus ion. Means H plus ion is not given by H3BO3 boric acid, but it forces water to release H plus ion. Okay, that's why it is a weak acid. Done? So, that's all about these three questions. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do like, subscribe and share my channel. God bless you all. Happy learning. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.